Hi there, Paula here. At Sessions, we want our customer success training to be as productive and cost-effective as possible. So today I'm going to share a few tips with you about how we do that. Firstly, it's important to stay organized. And a great way of doing this is to make use of the Book Me feature. We share our customer success team's availability and allow customers to book a first training session. As soon as they've made a booking, they receive an automated reply with further instructions. During our first session together, we discuss their goals and needs, and we also plan our next sessions and book up three or four more recurring meetings in our calendars. In case you haven't done this yet, you can sync your Google, Office 365 and iCloud calendars with your sessions calendar. Simply go to Calendar, go to Calendar Connections and select the calendar that you would like to sync. If you have more than one calendar, no problem, just sync them one at a time. You'll now have a full overview of your schedule and your past, present and future sessions and you can access them directly from here. We found that it's really important to keep our customers informed and empower them every step of the way. That is why we use agendas during our training sessions. We create agenda templates beforehand and share them across our team so that everyone who needs them can use them. This not only keeps us on track, it also helps us to ensure good quality and uniformity during our training sessions. It's really easy to set up an agenda template. Go to Agendas on the main menu, click on New Agenda, give your agenda a name and add your different topics and descriptions. If you don't share any resources to an agenda item, you'll end up in conference mode. But if you do add a file, link or tool, it will automatically load during your live meeting. I'm going to add a slideshow, Google Doc, my product tool and takeaways to this agenda. You can preview your agenda template to make sure that you're happy with it, share it with other people in your workspace and that's it. If you click on my agendas, you'll find it saved as a template. Or if you want to use it immediately, click on use agenda and an instant session will start straight away. Let's see our agenda in action. I didn't add any tools or files to the first agenda item, so we're starting off in conference mode. Here's the slideshow. I can choose whether I change the slides for everyone or if I want each participant to click through the slides at their own pace. Next up is the Google Doc. As long as it is set to public, everyone in the session will be able to type on it. And here's the My Product tool. Now this has been a real game changer for us. We found that it's so much better to let customers gain first-hand experience rather than just telling them how things work. The My Product tool is ideal for this. You can bring your web app directly into your training session, show the customer how to do something, and then give them control of the mouse and let them try it. Last but not least, there's takeaways. You can use this to summarize your training session, give next steps or add extra resources. I like to prepare it beforehand and then add to it during a live session. Right, so this is the basics of how an agenda works. You can choose to hide it, but at sessions we quite like showing it during our training sessions so that the customers can see the main topics and follow along as we go. Also, if you need to make changes to the agenda, you can do so at any time, even during a live session. By the way, if you started an instant session and you need to bring an agenda into it, it's no problem and it's super easy to do. Simply click on share and search for your agenda or click on add an agenda and look for it on the list. When it comes to training, there's always information that needs to be shared and it can become quite schlep to remember to share files or links to everyone after a session has ended. That's why we've developed storage, takeaways and memory. If you upload files to storage, your customers can access and download them before, during and after the meeting. Also, you can choose to include them in takeaways and they'll automatically be emailed to all participants once the meeting has ended. You can also give everyone who was invited to a meeting access to a session's memory. This means that they'll be able to access and download the recording and stored files and view everything from chat messages to the agenda. 
I'm sure you'll agree that asking for live feedback is a great way of involving your customers and keeping them engaged. You can use either forms or polls to do this. During a live session, click on polls and add your questions and responses. Customers can then choose the response they agree with most. Or create a form before your training session starts and add it to your agenda template or share it via the share palette. It works just like polls. The only difference is that you can set it up beforehand. Also, your customers can post questions during a session and you can decide which ones to answer and then feature them on the main screen. If you need to host training for a large group of people, I suggest setting up an event. This will allow you to share more info about the training that you offer, include bios for your speakers, an agenda, and you can of course create a landing and registration page. In this way you can see exactly who will be joining and you can share this information with your CRM system. So that's it for me. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out the links posted below for more useful tips and info. And last but not least, do let us know how your customer success team uses sessions. We'd love to get your feedback.